uh, let's invite our fourth rapid fire speaker, Evan from Freefly. Evan. We've been talking about design and business and how they work together and how business depends on design and vice versa, but I want to focus my comments specifically on the businesses themselves and even more specifically, creative companies. Now, we all know who creative companies are because they're the companies that we want to work for as designers. They're the companies that create the products that we want to buy. They amass cult-like followings. And I'd like to define a creative company as a place where everyone approaches their job, whatever it is, with creativity in mind. My name is Evan McDonald, and I am a graphic designer. I think I'm the third one today. I don't know why you guys let so many graphic designers in. Um, but my background is in typography, branding and package design, information design, and branded content, content strategy. I started my career working for agencies, and in 2010, I joined the agency Tether, a Seattle-based studio that works with everything from small brands to global brands, everything in between. And here I learned just a ton about how to build a brand. And I learned that from the branding virtuoso Stanley Hainsworth. Now, about three years ago, while I was working at Tether, I got this email. And this came from a company that claimed to be at the intersection of art and technology. And the email ended with an invitation that we schedule time to talk, have some coffee, and eat some chocolate cake. <laughs> Now, I liked my job at Tether a lot. I was learning a lot, I was very happy there, but I decided to sit down with two of the founders of FreeFly Systems. And after we talked, we did a quick walkthrough of the headquarters. And I've gotta tell you, the creative energy that was in that place was completely palpable. Everything was being designed right on the spot. Products were being designed, prototypes were being made, CNC machines, 3D printers, software, apps, firmware were all being designed. Products were being assembled in the warehouse and then piled up in shipping boxes and shipped out. You could see the whole process. And also there was a team of filmmakers, a small team of filmmakers that were testing our products and, or their products at the time, testing the products and and using them to create pretty amazing content. And so I wanted to, be, wanted to be a part of this. So I said goodbye to Tether, and I joined on and became the first, uh, or one of the first members of our creative team, helping to take the Freefly brand to the next level. Now in the agency world, I had learned how to build a brand from the outside. But at, at Freefly, I was tasked to do this from inside the brand. And I was given keys to a tool that I hadn't used at the agencies, and that tool is culture. Now I'm gonna talk about three things that Freefly has done to nurture a creative culture. The first is to share ownership. Freefly started as a heavy lift drone manufacturer, and in 2014, we released the Movi. It's a handheld gimbal for aerial use, handheld use, professional cinema, that sort of thing. And it sent waves to the filmmaking community. And so much so that copycat companies came out with their cheap knockoffs. Well, those knockoffs made for a very competitive landscape. So to overcome that competition, we put our product development team back to work to re-innovate and to make a better movie. But bringing products to market takes time, as all of us unfortunately know, and so, the rest of the company shouldered the creative burden. We owned the need to, to be creative in order to help, three, to help Freefly succeed. Our customer support team offered over-the-top customer service, which grew the brand and increased brand loyalty among a very vocal customer base. In 2015, we released the Alta, our reboot of the drone that we had originally produced. And in order to promote that product, we created a mountain of content. We created five videos a day for six straight weeks, each one highlighting a feature, and then we shared these on social, 
and other places, and our social followings tripled during that six weeks, and our sales saw a big boost as well. We also put our heads together to find ways to increase direct sales, which offer us higher margins. We even invented a new action sport. That's completely real, by the way. We had a lot of people calling our bluff, but that's real. Then in 2015, or excuse me, not 2000, this last November, we released this. This is the Movi Pro, and it's our version two of the Movi, and it also sent waves to the filmmaking community. And it sent those copycats back to the tracing paper. Movi Pro was a huge success, but not just because of the innovations that we added to the product, and there were a lot of innovations, but because everyone in the company owned the creative burden of helping Freefly thrive. After our strongest year, the owners handed out bonus checks, profit-sharing bonus checks. Now, this sent a very powerful message that this company is all of ours. We share in the successes together. Next, put everything on wheels. I'm gonna introduce you to Dave. He is one of the founders of the company and he's the first engineer at Freefly. And he has a motto which is to put everything on wheels. He even went through the building and literally pulled the latches out of the doors so that we could move faster through the building. And this idea of optimizing everything can be seen everywhere at Free Flight. And I'll just give you a few examples. We put our communication on wheels by flattening our hierarchy, which gives everyone access to everyone else and removes the friction in our communication. There's no emphasis in job titles, and there's very little emphasis in seniority. Everyone can bring ideas to the table. And it's like what our founder, Tab Fershaw, once told me. He said, I don't care about job titles, I care about who can get it done. We put our ideas on wheels by keeping pitches informal. Instead of spending countless hours and sometimes nights, like I did at the agency, working on decks, we share screenshots of early stage ideas of well-developed concepts all throughout the company. These things bounce around like ping pong balls. We optimized our workday. We put our workday on wheels by making a no meetings before lunchtime policy. That focus time is more effective than group brainstorming. And so then at the end of the day, each day, we gather as teams to discuss what we've worked on, to discuss what things might be blocking our progress. And that personal focus time has become a sacred time each day. All this optimizing that we have done at Freefly has made it so that everybody can be more creative. Thing three is to expect creativity. Ed Catmull, who is the president of Walt Disney Animation Studios and of Pixar, he believes that everyone has the potential to be creative, whatever form that creativity takes. And to encourage such development is a noble thing. But creativity and encouraging creativity, it's not just noble, it's good for the bottom line. And the best way to nurture creativity is to expect it. Our customers use our products to do amazing creative things. And we expect them to do that, and they deliver on that promise. So why not let that expectation run both ways? Everyone at Freefly is a creative professional, not because everyone's a designer, but because everyone approaches their work with creativity in mind. So I've shared a handful of things. Share ownership, put everything on wheels, and expect creativity. And this is a pretty short list. There's more things that we do, and there's a lot more things that you can do to make your organizations more creative and to build and design a creative culture. But really, that comes to creating your own unique version of that. Now, as designers, we have the ability to create great products. And we can create great companies as well if we allow everyone in our organizations to share in the process of designing our creative culture. As a parting thought, I just want to say, when it comes to your recruiting efforts, don't ever forget the virtue of chocolate cake.
Thank you.